Well, good afternoon. I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to join us this afternoon. My name is Frank Clegg and I'm the CEO of Canadians for Safe Technology. I've worked in the technology sector my whole career, including 14 years as the president of Microsoft Canada. For the past five years, I've volunteered with C4ST, working with all levels of government to create healthier communities across Canada. We do this by presenting to them the latest science about the health effects of microwave radiation from wireless devices. When I started in this business, almost no one outside the military was exposed to microwave radiation. Today, almost everyone is affected, and from the moment of conception onwards. I'm here to introduce you to an expert panel, including a doctor and scientists, who have a warning about the coming health conditions that are, that are predicted to rise if we blindly accept the next generation of 5G wireless technology. We are joining scientific researchers in 41 other countries, including the US and the UK, who are warning that 5G is going to pose a massive public health risk. It's not been made clear to the public that 5G won't just be another number and letter on your cell phone. It requires an entirely new infrastructure of thousands of small cellular antennas to be erected throughout cities where it's going to be installed. All of our speakers today have delivered expert testimony to the Parliamentary Health Committee in Ottawa on the subject of wireless radiation and human health. But so far, the only public discourse on 5G has, has, has been whether we should let a Chinese company install it or not. Today, we are here to change the conversation to the predictable and probable health risks that 5G wireless is likely to bring. I'll begin by introducing Dr. Rena Bray. Dr. Bray is trained as a chemical engineer and doctor of medicine with master's degrees in addiction, toxicology, and public health. She is associate professor in the Department of Family and Community Medicine with a cross appointment to the Dalai Lana School of Public Health at the University of Toronto. She is the medical director of the Provincial Environment Health Clinic at Women's College Hospital. Dr. Bray. Thank you. Over the past 15 years at our Provincial Environmental Health Clinic, we have been assessing an increasing number of vulnerable patients who have been referred from across Ontario, including but not limited to Toronto, Hamilton, London, Windsor, Ottawa, Sudbury, Thunder Bay, and Timmins. And those who suffer from the adverse effects brought on by electromagnetic exposures, most commonly to non-ionizing radio frequency radiation. These sources include cell phones, Wi-Fi, an increasing number of wireless radiation emitting consumer devices, and cellular communication towers. More and more doctors are becoming aware of this condition as demonstrated by the rise in the number of referrals. The most prevalent symptoms include headache, fatigue, decreased ability to concentrate, tinnitus, irritability, and insomnia. Impacts on the heart and the nervous system are also of great concern. Because of these symptoms, some people have, to, have been forced to quit their jobs or have had to take time off work or experienced reduced productivity. At the Environmental Health Clinic, we help them to identify the cause of their symptoms and educate them in order to minimize exposures and therefore recover, recover more readily. We see people from all walks of life, including teachers, students, government workers, and business people. We are concerned that the upcoming introduction of 5G will significantly increase the proximity and extent of exposure to microwave radiation in Ontarians. We predict that the number of people who develop the symptoms I just mentioned will rise in the places where 5G is first installed. 